Hey peeps and happy full moon in Aries. I hope you guys are well and I hope that this full moon is affecting you only in very, very positive ways. Although I do know it is pretty intense. Um, and what's interesting is that in the reading that I did last week, I was talking about how there's like this huge build up for the masculines, especially building up of intensity and just moving towards like this really huge tower. And I hadn't looked into the astrology of October yet, but I did look into it a couple days ago and I was just like, wow, that was, that is like so in line with what we got in the last reading. Um, and it's still building. And of course, like, you know, this, this full moon is definitely a big part of it, but also some other stuff happening towards the end of the month. Like it really is just this huge buildup of intensity. So just thought that was interesting. And also it's really weird because for some reason I feel like it's been way longer than just a week since the last reading, but I don't think I skipped a week. <laughs> No, I think I would know if I had skipped a week. I didn't skip a week. If for some reason it just feels like it's been more than a week. I don't know. Um, okay, so today's reading is for Twin Flames, Divine Soulmates, where there is a karmic situation involved. I will do the reading as if it is on the masculine side and as if it is a karmic partner. But of course, it could be any situation. Just apply the messages as they make sense and if they make sense for you. And also, of course, it could be that the feminine is also dealing with a karmic situation. Again, just take the messages as they apply to you. Um, and if they do, all right, because it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation as usual. And if you would like a personal reading, you can find all that info in the description box under this video. And the last thing, cord cutting sessions. I thank you so much to all of you who have been booking those. Like, I'm just like so happy that I can provide that service to you because I know like how helpful it can be and how much it can help to heal, um, to help you healing on this journey and on this path. So yeah, and if you would like more information about that, I do have some posts about it on my community page. You just go to my channel and click on community or you can just email me. Okay, so let's get into this reading. Let's see, we're starting off with the masculine's energy. Just overall, anything that wants to come through, what is going on with the masculines? All right, and we have the Magician in the Mirror and Angel of Love. Okay, wow. So this is the masculine really taking a good look at their own self in the mirror, especially in terms of love and in the area of love. Simple as that. Just really, I feel like, really seeing themselves, this could even be like, like an identity type of an energy here where they're just really looking very, very deeply into their own self. And not only that, um, understanding how the outside world also affects them in terms of either how they see themselves or in terms of the decisions they have made when it comes to love. So, okay, I know that that sounded a little confusing, but hopefully it will clear up because that's the message I got. <laughs> okay, let me get a couple more from a couple of different decks and then we'll get into the tarot. Let's see, what else for the masculine, please? Okay. That is quite a bit here. We already have four. We have protection and we have assessing. So yeah, definitely a lot of assessing. And actually, I'm getting that this is them realizing within their own self what it is that they have been protecting in their own self all this time. Like if they are attached to a karmic situation, it's like, what is it that they were trying to protect? Was it their ego? Was it their sense, some false sense of identity? Is it other people? Is it their sense of status or whatever that is? So just like I said, I mean, look at this image, you know, she's holding a, a telescope here. Like I said, taking a really deep look at themselves, almost like looking at themselves in, in the mirror with a telescope, with a microscope, you know, whatever. Realizing that they have just been trying to protect something. And, and so that's not really aligned with love. Okay. I'm not gonna get any more oracle cards for the last ones. I just wanna see what wants to come through in the tarot and we'll see, maybe I'll get more oracle cards later. So 
for the masculine's energy towards their karmic situation. What is going on? The moon in reverse, the queen of swords, and the ace of cups in reverse. Oh, okay. So definitely something that has been hidden from them is coming up to the surface. There's a lot of truth. And I actually feel like, okay, yeah, for some of them, it could be that they are discovering something, right, about this karmic situation, especially if it is a partner. Um, what they are, what is coming to the light and what is coming out of the shadows is that this person that this masculine is with is somebody who is maybe a little bit harsh, maybe a little bit judgmental. Um, whatever the case, there's no love. So this is something that, you know, even if they knew this from before, I feel like it's just really coming to the surface here because it's one thing to like kind of know something but have it in the back of your mind and then it's a completely different thing to bring it to like the forefront of your mind where it's like out in the open, it's like right here, it's like right in front of my face and it's like somebody's rubbing it in my face too. So for a lot of them, this could even be that this is coming more to, the, to their attention, either because certain events are happening or it's just like smacking them, smacking them in the face, you know, that, well, look, you know, this person that you are with, if it's a person, you know, there's no love there. Or if it's a situation, again, there's no love there in that situation. So this isn't just how, they, this isn't about how they feel about the karmic situation or the karmic partner. Because usually, like, that's what I get in these readings is, is the masculine's energy towards them. What I'm getting here, though, is that this, this is the karmic's energy towards the masculine and the masculine just becoming more aware of it. Because, and it all ties into the first oracle cards that we got, because the more that they can look into their selves and the more that they are realizing about themselves and what, you know, like that their love decisions have mostly been to protect something. So they're becoming aware of that, right? So the more that they become aware of that, it's like the more clearly they can also see the other person's intentions. Cause now they're like getting to the bottom of it. They're getting to like the root of it all. Like, okay, why am I here? Oh, because I just wanted to protect my ego or because I just want to protect, I don't know, something. Oh, okay, so it's not really love. All right, well, kind of already knew that, but okay, so then why is, why is this person here? What, what's this person's energy towards me, right? Or this situation, if it's a situation. And so they're able to see that more clearly because they're not hiding behind this wanting to protect something anymore. They're still doing it. Obviously, they're still with the karmic partner or situation, but it's not working at a subconscious level anymore. They're not there just because they're trying to protect something. Now it's, it's come to their awareness that that's why they're there. So now actually it's going to be more difficult for them um, dealing with this because now it's going to be more of like a conscience decision, like knowing that they're there for the wrong reason. Like now it, that is known to them. Whereas before, you know, this was repressed. So they were just, using that as an excuse to themselves. So I hope that made sense. I really do. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm getting here. And so as a result of this, I'm getting that the masculine is actually pretty cold towards their karmic person here. And the karmic person doesn't have to just be a partner. It could be any person. It could be even a group of people. It could be a relative, a friend, you know, anything, a boss. It doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of coldness here and a lot of truth seeing and seeing things clearly seeing this other person or situation clearly. So let's get another row here. Let's see what else wants to come through. So what else might be going on in their headspace? All right, the Knight of Cups in reverse, the Hierophant and the King of Wands. 
Yeah, definitely um, they're not being affectionate towards this person at all. If anything, like I said, I feel like they're like distancing themselves or just being a little bit like um, cold maybe. Just very like matter of fact, very just, you know, just being typical but not like, not affectionate, not emotional, like the opposite actually here. Pulling away, pulling back from anything that is affectionate because like, I'm getting that it's really hard for them at the moment to be fake. And, they, I mean, they can't be fake because now it's it's come to the surface, right? Like, what was repressed, like, now they're, like, aware of the fact that, well, there's no love here. Like, I'm just here because I was protecting, you know, whatever. And so it's, like, for whatever reason, they cannot be fake. And I feel like that's actually in line with the full moon in Aries, right? Because Aries is very authentic. Aries is very bold. Um, Aries is also very impulsive, like, you know, whatever they think, they say. So it's that kind of a thing. They cannot be fake about it. However, there is this essence, though, of them, like, thinking about what's right and what's wrong. Like, what should I do, like, or and what should I not do? So they're having a hard time finding that balance. And <laughs> King of Wands, yeah, it's also... It's, it's Leo's energy, but it can all, I mean, it's just fire. So to me, that's Aries right there. Just, <laughs> it's like that Aries energy. Like I cannot be fake, but then again, I am thinking about, you know, like what is the norm? Like how can I find that balance where I can be authentic, but also not be like unethical kind of a thing. So um, let me just get one more row and then maybe we'll clarify a couple of these. We'll see. So let's see, what is going on with them emotionally? The Four of Swords in reverse, the Four of Pentacles, and the Tower. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah, that Tower. It's creeping up in here. Um, and I still feel like it's still building. Like, this Tower is, isn't even full-blown yet. Just moving these here so you can see them until we get the next part. Yeah, they're definitely feeling very restless at the moment, but there's like this, there's this resistance with this Four of Pentacles. It's like they're really trying to hold on, <laughs> kind of like, you know, buckling their seatbelt. Like, I need to just kind of force myself to stay balanced. I need to just resist um, this tower, basically. Yes, it is upright. They, they're not going to be able to resist it. But emotionally, like I said, like they're trying to... I don't know, maintain some kind of like, not, it's like the Aries is coming out, right? So it's like they're trying to, on the one hand, they're feeling this urge to be very, very real, very authentic, very blunt, very courageous. And then they have, you know, the social conditioning, like, oh, what's right? What's wrong? You know, what's the proper way, you know, for me to behave? So they have that coming in. And so they're trying to like refrain from completely losing it and just going off, basically. So all of that, it's just that tower building and building and building. And the more that they resist, the harder it's going to fall. Like, I mean, that's just how it works. And so on an emotional level, like, that's already happening. They're already feeling like, okay, like, I'm about to lose it. So... Let's, let's see. I mean, they're already feeling like this connection with the karmic is, is destroyed anyway, right? Already feeling like it's destroyed, but it's just, it's building up now emotionally because they're not 100% expressing themselves, but they're feeling that urge to express themselves like 100% bluntly. Like whatever comes into my mind, like to just speak it, you know? Being very, um, it's that impulsive urge. So... Yeah, they're trying to swallow it. Not gonna work. Um, let's let's move on to their energy towards their feminines currently. So let's see, what is the masculine's energy towards their feminine? Five 
Five of Swords in reverse, the Nine of Cups in reverse, and the Magician. Hmm. What is going on here? They're feeling very, very vulnerable at the moment towards their feminine. I don't know what this is about. I feel like they feel, the masculine is feeling like they have either lost you, they've lost that nine of cups. There's something here that is making them feel like, um, I don't know, I'm probably gonna clarify this. But whatever this is, whatever this is that may have happened or is happening between the two of you, or just in your life, it's making the masculine feel very, very vulnerable. Let me just get the rest of them. We'll clarify. It's like the masculine knows that um, it's it's their behavior that has led to the situation as it is now. Um, to them having had been deceptive in whatever way in the past. But see, this five of swords is in reverse. They don't want to be deceptive to you. At least not now. Five of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, okay. That's what this is. So th they're feeling a lot of regret here. A lot of regret, a lot of grief, um, a lot of depression. And I actually get that this is because of what they are now realizing. So it's like because they're seeing so much of their own self with that magician in the mirror, it's like this whole like identity thing, like just really seeing themselves for who they are, seeing their own self, you know, just in terms of even what they have done and who they truly are and what is aligned with them and what is not aligned with them, especially in terms of love right? We've got those two cards together. So in the same way, this is the masculine actually having realized that they have manifested, the magician, this nine of cups in reverse, the lack of wish fulfillment, this deprivation of your union. It's because of their own actions and them having been deceptive. This is making them feel very, very vulnerable because it's like, I don't want to say exactly like you have the upper hand, but it's it's almost shameful. And they're feeling shameful and it's kind of like, what have I done, you know, all this time? Like, why did I let things get, get to this point where now it's like so difficult? Um, so definitely feeling here very, very apologetic and feeling even in their headspace, like knowing that they feel this remorse for everything. And I feel like actually they're sulking. They're sulking in this. And that's probably apparent even in other areas of their life, even here with the karmic. And that's why, you know, they're keeping this distance or they're being cold because they know that it's, be, it's because of their own decisions in that situation. It's not the karmic's fault. Um, but yeah, they can definitely take it out on the karmic. That's a different thing. And so, yeah, they know that all of this is their own actions. And so they do want to take an action. And not only that, they, they want to be authentic. It's like really, really knowing what the truth is on a very deeper, higher level than, than previously. Like, I'm surprised we haven't gotten the judgment card. Let's see, let's get one more. Because it feels like there's just so much deep insight here. To me, it just feels like the judgment card would kind of sum this up. Well, let's see. So, the Page of Swords in reverse, the Lovers in reverse, and the Eight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, the masculine's really going through it right now. Um, they're really going through it. They're knowing <laughs> that they're the ones who need to communicate. They know, they know that it's because of their own lack of communication with you. Even if you are in communication, it's them though not having been 100%, you know, honest. Or maybe there was even something in specific where they've been, you know, a little deceptive lately. Like maybe this is something recent for some of you. And maybe it's not just the overall, you know, situation. It really depends. So just take it as it resonates. 
For some of you, I definitely get that it could be something very specific that has happened recently. Um, and for others of you, it's just, you know, the overall like general situation here. So there's something here that the masculine has not been like 100% honest or um, at least they have not taken action on that truth, whatever that truth is, All right? Something along those lines. That again, I mean, look at this, like the lovers in reverse, the nine of cups in reverse, and then the page of cups right smack in the middle here. It's like they've created this and they're feeling apologetic, whether or not they express it to you or not. I'm getting that they're not really expressing it right now. For some of you, they might be, but I'm getting that for the most part, they're not. But they're feeling this apologetic energy because they know that it's because of their them that they are, that the two of you don't have this. That, you know, this union has not taken place or that, you know, they don't have fulfillment and that you also don't have that fulfillment of being in union. Even if, you know, you're doing your own thing and even if you can find your fulfillment on your own, which is what you should, what you should be doing, right? It's still a part of your soul's intentions, though, to also be together. So there will always be that pool, you know, like you, there will always be this nostalgia between you and your masculine anyway, regardless of that. So yeah, definitely feels like there's not much action here. There's not much communication um, between the two of you at the moment, even if you are in communication, I'm getting a lot of not <laughs> communication happening right now. Um, and I feel like this is because the masculine is just really going through it, you know, feeling ashamed, feeling vulnerable, um, not knowing what to say because they're just realizing all these truths about themselves. And these are like deep wounds that are really coming to the surface. These wounds are coming up. These wounds are coming up and they're going to heal them. And I feel like for a lot of them, they're actually shocked by what they are discovering about their own self, about their own identity. Um, with that magician in the mirror and what they are uncovering. Almost like they're shocked that, you know, they have been in this situation for so long when it's not aligned with love. And they're feeling like they want love right now, big time, with that angel of love card. Like, that's like a major theme for them coming into play here. So, yeah, okay. I don't even feel like we need to clarify anything. It's all making sense. Okay, let me just get a little bit about the feminines and then we will see what is coming up in the next week or so. So for the Femmies, what is going on? I don't even know what's going on in this reading. Like, what am I even gonna title this? I feel like it's <laughs> it's like all over the place. Um, all right, let's see, Femmies. Door to spirit, good. So, ooh, feminines, you're on your path. You are ascending. You are opening up yourself more and more spiritually and to the 5D and connecting with your higher self as well as with spirit, your spirit guides. Let's see what else we have. The void. Okay, so a mixture of things. Give me one sec. Let me just pull from this deck as well because we only got for you from these decks. Let's see, what else for the feminines? Whew, okay, Dark Knight of the Soul, Numbing, and Devotion. Okay, I see. Okay, feminines. So, um, first of all, like, there's like two energies here that are kind of like playing together. Um, and I do get that for a lot of you, like it could be that you're having like mixed, mixed signals, like not just from your masculine, but like, for example, you know, you might be feeling like, you know, you are releasing and you're getting this push, you know, to move forward, but then you get like a sign. So you're like, okay, well then what, if I'm supposed to be moving forward, then what the hell is the sign? Why am I having this synchronicity? Which is, you know, it's like, it's guiding me back to my masculine. So it can be, it can get very confusing. Um, it's okay. You know, don't look too much into it. Don't read too much into it. You know, a lot of these signs 
or even just to tell you that, you know, everything is okay. You are on the right path. This was the very first card out. You know, don't, just don't, don't freak out with every, you know, little thing that might happen or every like synchronicity, you know, just allow it to be, just observe it. So the other thing that I'm being um, guided to tell you here is that, you know, even though you are moving forward on your path, you are opening up, you are on the right path, it doesn't mean that you're not going to have dark moments as well. It doesn't mean that you're not going to feel some kind of emptiness because, you know, you're either because you're not in union with your masculine or just because everything just feels so damn hard, whatever, whatever that is, okay? Um, you're still on the right path. You still do have that support. Know that, yeah, you know, um, possibly having this nostalgia is just a part of this. And the more that you go along, the more that you are okay with that. Like the more that it just, it can become a part of you and it doesn't affect you. Don't try to force it away. Okay, don't try to force it away because that just won't work. Because that's a little bit of um, the message I'm getting here is that, yeah, you know, there can be times where it can be really, really hard and it might be tempting to, you know, um, with the numbing card, you know, to try to distract yourself. And that's not necessarily a bad thing as long as it doesn't take over. So that's what I'm getting here. You know, don't allow that to, to just take over your life. Um, you know, whatever that is, you know, whether that's drinking or playing video games or just, you know, um, indulging in something that is just serving to distract you from whatever it is that you're feeling, that's not very pleasant, okay? Because with the dark night of the soul, yeah, things could be also getting a little intense for you as well. But know that it's okay, is what I'm getting. All right, door to spirit, like, spirit is here to help you through this, your angels. And the other message that I've gotten recently and I was being guided to also share it in this reading and I'm glad it came up now is that you know regardless actually it's not regardless okay if you believe in archangels okay because they do exist but of course you know everybody can have their own perspective as to what this means or you know the label you want to put on them whatever and it doesn't have to be archangels but ask for help when you're having a hard time dealing with something emotionally and when you feel you know pain and if it feels unbearable ask for help and you would be surprised like how well this can actually work for the pain to just um soften up so more specifically it's archangel raphael who deals with um pain whether it be physical or emotional pain so call out to him ask ask for that support and of course it doesn't have to be, you know, you can, you can ask for this for just from any divine being that you identify with or that resonates with you, okay? It doesn't have to be an archangel. This is just, you know, what I have found um, to be very effective. And if any of you, you know, have any other suggestions, you know, of course feel free to leave them in the comments because they might help somebody. So that's what I'm getting here. You know, it's like it, part of what can be so difficult during this time for the feminine is knowing that you're moving forward, right? Opening up more to your higher path and detaching. But then, you know, it it can get a little dark when you realize, you know, that, yeah, but I still feel this attachment or I still feel like I'm devoted to, the, to this masculine. Doesn't have to be for everybody, but I do get that for a lot of feminines, you know, you do realize that at some point because this is a twin flame reading, okay? Let's not forget that. It's a divine soulmate connection reading. So there will always be that connection there. And so of course you're bound to feel to feel this at some point. It's okay. You can move through it. Okay, that's <laughs> enough for the feminines. Um, okay, let's see what's coming up. For the masculine's energy towards their karmic situation, what is coming up in the next week or two? Ace of Pentacles in reverse, the Two of Cups in reverse, and the Six of Swords. Wow. <laughs> okay. Um, that door is closing. That door is closing. That potential is closing. I it really does feel like spirit is just coming down and being like, you know what? 
This door is closed. Like, what are you not getting? What is up with this resistance here? This door is closed, right? Two of cups in reverse, six of swords. Um, being pushed in that way to move away from this. So for some of them, this could be very, very literal. Like this could even be like physically distancing themselves, like possibly, you know, maybe, I don't know, taking a trip. I think we did get that pretty recently. Um, or it could even be, um, you know, just moving away for a little while, like physically distancing themselves. And then for others of them, this is just them really healing, you know, those wounds that have come up, which as they heal these wounds, especially pertaining to what it is within themselves that they were trying to protect so, so intensely, right, that is automatically then causing them to detach because they're healing the wound that was keeping them attached. So there's definitely a distancing here, whether it be emotionally, physically, whatever, okay? And not just with that Six of Swords, just this whole combination here. That, it's like that door is closed. So, let's see their energy coming up towards their feminines. Seven of Cups in reverse. Ooh, the Devil. And the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. Ooh, okay. So, like I said, they're seeing things more clearly, but because they're seeing things more clearly, it's things are building. Things are going to get intense for the masculine. That Devil towards their feminine now, I mean, that's just a lot of intensity. And it could present itself in a lot of different ways. And it's going to be different for each of you. Like I said, this reading is general. So for some of you, it could be that, you know, the masculine just becomes really, really obsessed, for example. Um, for others of you, it could be that, you know, they're just really freaking out about possibly losing you or feeling like they might be losing you or because of what it is that happened in the past and everything that they've done. And they're just like, just so freaking out about how much they regret what has happened up until now. Whatever this is, whatever this devil's energy is going to be for each of you, they're going to be focusing a lot on it. Um, so I don't know how it could play out. Um, and I mean, I'm almost happy to see that you're not in much contact at the moment because I don't know if this would be a good thing to be in contact while they're in this kind of energy because I just feel like it could be a little chaotic and if you're still in this kind of an energy that we saw for the feminines, like I just feel like that's just gonna like not be a good like, yeah, it's not gonna be a good combination at the moment. So if you are in separation or if, if you and your masculine have some distance from each other right now, yeah, that's, that's a positive thing. You know, they need to go through this, let them go through this you need to, you know, go through your own thing here. Um, it's, I, I feel like it's just a very vulnerable time all around. So people can easily get triggered. I feel like you might easily get triggered. They might easily get triggered, even if you have been doing a lot better with the triggers. Okay. Um, yeah, October, <laughs> this October is like a very, very like strange, intense, atypical month, I would say. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Um, yeah. Vague energies, you might be able to pick up on this energy from the masculine as well. So you know what I'm going to do? I don't usually do this, but I am going to pull three tarot cards for the feminines as well because this to me is like, okay, what the hell? Like, I have to see. Let's see. What are the feminines? Just anything else that wants to come through. All right, Six of Wands in reverse strength and the Page of Wands in reverse. All right, Femmies, you know, just stay strong. Stay strong through this. You know, it might feel at some point or you might already be feeling like, you know what, like we've just lost this. Like we've just lost this, this war or this battle or, you know, we just didn't accomplish our mission and, you know, I just have to accept that. And that's okay. It's okay to feel that way because you're detaching as you do that. That's okay. Um, I, I do feel like you're losing motivation here. Like you just, you're just like, whatever, but you're just being asked to stay strong through this. And not only that, I do see this as being the strength that you actually do have to move through this, 
phase through this period, I feel like it is going to be like, um, very like, um, what's the word? Transformative. It's going to be transformative and I feel like it's going to be an important marker for a lot of divine soulmates on this path right now. So yeah, just, <laughs> just hold on. Just hold on. Not, not, I'm not saying hold on to the masculine. I'm saying just, you know, hold on. <laughs> Everything is going to be okay. Um, just allow yourself to go through the ride and just always stay conscious of the fact that, you know, you are moving forward and things are happening the way that they need to. And things sometimes do need to get intense, you know, for the masculine or for the feminine or for both. And yeah, you got the strength to get through this, basically. That's what it comes down to. So you're doing good. You're doing good, feminines. All right, let's see. So let's get a final message to close this reading out for those of you that it resonated for. And if it did, please do give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. All right, and we have a leg up and co-create. Okay, I'm de and this definitely feels like, you know what? This is what I was saying before, like, you know, don't be afraid to ask for help or, you know, don't just disregard it. Don't, you know, underestimate how much spirit guides or archangels or whatever it is that you identify with can actually help you. We have a leg up and co-create. So you don't have to do this alone is what this is saying. You do not have to do this alone. And I do feel like the masculines are also getting help. For a lot of them, it could be actually in the physical. Like they're, it's, it's like they're being sent, um, you know, however you want to call them, like earth angels or just other humans where, you know, th those people in their lives are being guided to just say specific things, you know, to trigger them in a certain way. So the masculines are also getting help um, at the same time. So that is it for this time. Um, I thank you all so much for watching and I will talk to you very soon. Much love.